Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Final Fantasy 16, where we are trying to enter a place called the Lazarus, where there is a secret tunnel that leads into Isolde. And this gate won't let me in! Let's see here. This is nothing like I remember it. How quickly a crown can lose its luster. Mm-hmm. If I was a hidden tunnel, where would I be? Not here, because that's that's a treasure chest. Don't be dumb, dude. Can't jump that high. Let's take a look here. Yeah? No. There it is. Not abandoned, then. Bandits? Bandits. Apologies. We'll show ourselves out. It's okay, boys. Don't, don't get up for my account. I don't have an excuse. Don't get up. Let me just take care of this bandit. Thank you. You might want to call for more friends, though. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. I've only ever seen one man fight like that. Tyler? And he's long dead. Then perhaps it's time you joined him. Tyler! The blessing of the Phoenix. It can't be. I was there when you died. Huh? Oh my god, it's the shields. I knew not whom I addressed. You have naught to fear from us. Founder, it really is you. It is. Oh, Wade. Tyler was the other one. <laughs> Are you branded too? We can speak inside. The shields are alive. This, that's, wow. And those who wouldn't bend the knee? We left before the Empire could make examples of us. Though we didn't go far. And we banded together to form the Guardians of the Flame soon after. Alas, there is only so much a handful of aging shields can do against the might of an empire. But we've seen to it that their stay has been anything but pleasant. Of late, though, we've had our hands full just trying to keep the Duchy's few remaining bearers out of the Imperial's clutches. The Cullings. We saw what happened in Old Hill. Aye, the foul work of the Black Shields and their mistress. You mean my mother? But it doesn't make sense. Even knowing what I know about her. 
Her hatred for bearers was no secret, but she wouldn't have been ignorant of their value to the realm. No offense, my lord, but in case you haven't noticed, the Lady Annabella couldn't care less about the realm. She barely even cares for her own home. That much has been plain since the slaughter at Eastpool. True. And since granting the Holy Emperor a new heir, her obsession with bearers only seems to have grown. As to why, I don't know. Maybe she can't bear the thought of anyone having the power to challenge her beloved son. Her son. So wait, wait what? The Black Shields of Broken Camp. They march in full force for Buick Bridge. Then so do we. Make ready. It's time for the first shield to take to the field. This is their main host. If we remove the head, perhaps... Perhaps we can prevent what happened at the docks from happening somewhere else. If I do nothing, then the blood of their next victims will be on my hands. Yours and ours. We too have witnessed the crimes these men who dare call themselves shields have committed in my mother's name. It cannot be allowed to continue. We must put a stop to this madness. We must. So let us go with you. For the good of Rosaria. <laughs> I appreciate the fact that I this is happening. You'd say that. Very well. If that is your wish, I would be honored to serve at your side. And we at yours. So, Wade, let us do our duty. With pleasure, my lord. Is Tyler alive, though, then, I wonder? The other one. I imagine this endeavor will require more than just our weights. Then let's hope Sir Wade has a good quartermaster. I doubt it. We'll show him as much mercy as... Tell us then, Sir Wade. What is your plan? Nothing fancy. You, Lady Jill and I make for Buick Bridge and provoke the main host at their encampment. Okay. Sensing an opportunity to end the Guardians, the Black Shields will call for reinforcements, who will be met from the rear by parties of my brothers hidden throughout the surrounding hills. This will allow us to wage battle on the bridge without fear of being overwhelmed. While the Black Shields have an advantage in numbers, you see, they prefer to fight in small units, which we can use to our advantage. How small exactly? Small enough, now that I have you and Lady Jill for company. <laughs> I doubt I could have done this on my own. But until we arrived, that was your plan. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. So wait. The bearers from Old Hill have been laid to rest. Thank you. Very good. Now make ready for battle. As you command. Thank you, Sir Wade. Perhaps now they will find peace. There is but one thing which will grant them peace. Putting an end to the Black Shields. And so we shall. Let's do this. I was curious how that works for party members. Interesting that they choose to remain at the hideaway. Um, we'll keep them from the bridge. The blessing of the Phoenix go with you. Oh, don't worry. I've got that in my left pocket. How long have you been pursuing the Black Shields? Since they burned their first village. We tracked down the bastards responsible and fed their corpses to Stillwind. Suffice to say, that got their attention. It's been a game of cat and mouse ever since. And what of Sir Tyler? Does he still live? He was badly wounded, I know. I got my 
going for you. Come along now. The bastards are lucky. <laughs> there they are. On your command, my lord. I don't think you realize I plan not to stop. Hello, lads. What is it now? I told you. We bear a message for the Vicewing. From the Guardians of the Flame. Ha! You presume to tell us that a pair of filthy vagabonds, a woman and a dog, could guard aught against the might of the Black Shields. Then come! I like where this is going. Die along with your flame. Yeah, I know. For Azaria! For Azaria! Your petty revolution ends here. On these our swords, we swear. Yeah, I know. You're dead. Bloody hell. Reinforcements from the far bank. Another wife had to fight their battles for them. More dragons. Worse. The Imperials aren't taking any chances. I can't say I'm flattered. I'd rather not have that happen. Thank you. Thanks, Garuda. There we go. Problem solved. Who ne who's next? <gasps> A noble stand. Albeit... A misguided one. What you good? In taking it, you have but proven our point. That this land is in dire need of cleansing. On your knees, you fool. Your knees, fool. Going up, and you're down. Hashtag soon. Hashtag soon. I don't see any more. <sighs> Nor do I. Oops. The plan worked. It did. It bloody worked. We sent every last one of the rotten bastards straight to the mud. My, uh, Lord. Perhaps this will be enough to stop the Cullings. 
for the time being. I doubt it. Perhaps. Though I doubt my mother will take this loss well. She'll move swiftly to see her minions' ranks replenished. And then it will all begin again. I often wonder if the nation we once knew is gone for good. Her fields rot. Her people starve. We battle to preserve the flame that was, but for every foe we fell, another springs up in its place. Yet be that as it may, it is still our home. And we must fight for it. As we always have, and always will. For as long as the Firebird's flame burns in our hearts, the Duchy cannot die. And her loyal subjects may dream of a day when the Rosarian Standard flies over Rosalith once more. So why he die? Think we should fall back to Port Isolde before the garrison sends reinforcements? A sound strategy, my lord. Very good, very good. I'm happy to see that Sir Wade is around. So. <laughs> and how long has my uncle been funding you and your comrades' endeavors? I thought so. Since the beginning. Lord Byron was the first person I turned to after forming the Guardians. And had I known of this tunnel back then, I wouldn't almost have been hanged by the city guard for trying to sneak over the wall. I suppose a formal request for an audience would have appeared suspicious. And appearances must be maintained. Were the Vice Regency to catch wind of Lord Byron's involvement in our movement, they'd seize his estate and send him to the gallows where he would be of no use to anyone. And so, though it sickens him to the soul, he plays the part of the loyal lord, knowing that one wrong move might prove his downfall. It is why he remains ever vigilant. Don't be surprised if he refuses you an audience, especially since you're famously dead. Then I will have to think of a way to prove that I am neither wraith nor wrongdoer. I might have something which could help with the latter. Oh. It's the mark of the Guardians. Display it, and those who love Rosaria will know where your loyalties lie. I shall wear it with pride. Be sure that you do. I don't want my men attacking you again. Unless you deserve it. I do! If only Sir Tyler could have been here to see you. Or the Lord Commander. And that saddens me. Thank you, Sir Wade. Tyler was the one that got there wounded in the hallway. You need. I know. Go on now, my lord. Ooh. Very nice looking town. How accommodating. Do you really think they believe we are who we say we are? Not a chance. The only way you can prove it really is with the blessing of the phoenix, I feel. Alright, I guess. My uncle believes we're imposters here to rob him. He needs to string us up himself. <laughs> What an imposing man. Imagine my surprise when I was told my nephew had come to visit.
Clive Rosfield died long ago. True. And for uttering his name here, you shall pay with your tongue. You would mock me as well. It is I, Sir Crandall of Camelot, loyal servant to Her Serene Holiness, Saint Sybil the Unshod. Meadow, thou vile sorcerer, for thy crimes against church and crown, I shall have thy head. the infectious flax wench e even in death must thou plague me still very well I shall open the gates of hell that thou might see thy charge once more bravo uncle you're still the finest matter in the twins. Oh, oh, oh. oh, Clive, my dear boy, it's really you. <laughs> this makes me happy. Oh, you always were fond of that scene from the Saint of the Sanctuary. You never did let me play Sir Crandall. <laughs> A favor to ask Uncle Byron. Rutherford, inform the kitchens. There'll be guests. We dine immediately. But, Uncle. You can't very well regale me with the tale of your miraculous preservation on an empty stomach. Go on, sit. But you can't let the mother know. Say that you use the good plates, Rutherford. <laughs> So you arrived late to one of her cullings, did you? Since becoming viceroy, Annabella has been a constant thorn in Rosaria's side, but these atrocities are a new low. Something has changed. Quite what? I don't know, but the woman we knew is gone, and a monster sits in her place. A monster. Ha! Huh. For better or worse, I've been charged with governing this town, and thus must maintain the illusion of obedience. That's all I can do to aid Wade and his merry I have a theory. revolutionaries. So he's told us. You have risked much for Rosaria. Our nation will be forever in your debt. It has been 20 years, Clive. The nation your father and your forefathers fought to defend is no more. Perhaps it would be otherwise had I the courage of my brother. <laughs> no, no. You fought on your own terms. That's courage enough. All right. If it's a ship you require, a ship you shall have. I have a galley in port, but recently relieved of her cargo. She can be outfitted for the voyage in a matter of weeks. So you believe us, then? About everything? Believe you? Ha! Only a fool would believe even half of the things you claim. But... but until tonight, only a fool would have believed my nephew still lived. And besides, I have it on good authority that Clive is telling the truth. Eh? Whose authority? your own of course you've always been a terrible liar is that true it's not untrue <laughs> let's say no more about it eh? it wouldn't do to linger on my nephew's greatest failing <laughs> the 
One thing I cannot believe, though, is all this about you being Sid. You were always such a good boy, but now you're quite the outlaw. Which, if I'm not mistaken, would make me an outlaw's uncle. <laughs> Why then, who shall we pillage first? Rutherford, fetch me my cutlass. This will be fun. Huh. So... Okay, I'm gonna put a cut in here, but I'm gonna express a theory I have. Hmm. So, my theory is such. Byron made a comment that he doesn't recognize who this woman is sitting on the throne anymore. Right? When we met, when we destroyed the crystal below uh, Sambrek, the mother crystal, we fought Typhon, and, Ult and we also had Ultima, who was claiming to try to be that we were the vessel, right? So one stands to believe maybe if they have the ability to become a dominant, they also have a suitable vessel. So what would have stopped her from going to Phoenix Gate to try to become her own dominant, but instead being claimed by another? That's just food for thought in my head. Anyway. Thank you for joining me, everyone. My name has been Duke Rafe. Take care, stay safe, and have a great day. Bye-bye!